guys. Welcome back to the VMR channel. Today we're pretty excited to try this month's box from Universal Yums. Because this month it's from Scandinavia. Scandinavia. How cool is that? So we were looking into it. We found out we can thank Scandinavia because we get Bjork and we get ABBA. Who doesn't love ABBA? Also part of Scandinavia. Denmark, we can thank them for endless hours of creativity hanging to our feet Legos but cool thing if you ever catch yourself in Finland there's a Burger King that has a sauna mm. offer and a sweat pretty cool so um, we're just gonna note we're doing this month's box a little differently because with the stay-at-home orders and everything we're not able to share with all of our friends and family like we're used to. Yeah. So we're gonna show you what's in the box and then we're gonna try four things that we're gonna pick from the box. Um, there's a lot of chips in here and I just don't wanna have like eight bags of chips just open at the same time if we can't share them and we sure can't um, get to them all. So with that being said, let's see what we have here. We're gonna start off with here, that to the back. Look at the size here. of the bag. So you're gonna be our grabber. So I'm gonna try and put the stuff here. All right. So that's first. Look at this. You'll show them that. Show them that. So the oh. first thing are potato chips with American grill. It has um, paprika. Pe uh, chili peppers which originated in Mexico so they're really not sure why <laughs> this is called American Grill but it sounds interesting Tex Mex potato chips alright so next we have these raspberry gummies um I mean they feel a little hard right they feel yeah. kind of hard. They're not like soft gummies. I don't know. Harder why than Haribo. Skull and crossbones. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Huh. All right. Well, that'll be Are interesting because, um, yes, to super sour lingon berries to sweet orange cloud berries. Oh no, it's just talking about those berries. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What is? No, that's not it. Good. Those do look good. On those, bad boys. those are puff pastries with cream filling. Um, I think that's definitely going to go in the try it area. Let's let's put that in the the try it zone. I don't know <laughs> the try it zone. I kind of like that. <laughs> okay, so next we have the sour cream and onion potato sticks. Now we've had sour cream and onion potato sticks from a couple of different countries and some- If they're done right. Yeah. And got the texture and not the greasiness. Oh, oh. Yeah. You throw these bad boys in a salad or something. There's some hits and there's some misses. But, but these might actually be 3D, not the flat ridges. These might be actually like actual fry shit. All right, I see some more skull and crossbones here. Careful with it, it feels soft. Push it too much. This is a milk chocolate with strawberry and caramel. Ooh. Same company that the raspberry gummies were from. Bubs. Bubs. Okay. All right, you know what? We're gonna try those um, sour cream and onion potato sticks too. Put those in the oh, try it zone. Yeah. Get a little, uh. So excited. Yeah, get some savory in the mix. Um, speaking of savory, Man, we have these. These are cheesy corn puffs. So they kind of like cheese doodles, cheese puffs. Should be interesting. Maybe it's a different cheese, so it'll have a different taste than what we're used to. Maybe. 
All right. Let's see. Um. Okay. So some more gummies and these. They're, they're okay. They're not. Maybe they're not so hard. Now, what flavor are those? Cool cola. Cola flavored gummies. Had some cola flavored gummies before too. Some cola candies. Trick someone. Be like, hey, check it out. It's like chocolate gummies and see their reaction. I'd be scared if someone said chocolate gummies to me. I'd probably run. Gummy shouldn't be chocolate. Or should chocolate be gummy? Gummies can be covered in chocolate. Ah. All right, let's move on. Um, ooh, this one looks pretty good. We've got a salted caramel popcorn. We're going to try these. We're going to try it. Yeah, put it in the try zone. So shine. Try it zone. All shine. And it's kettle cooked, just in case. Yeah. Oh, well, they're kettle. Okay. Um, let's go on to the next, which is this delicious looking bar. Which, wait, which one is it? Starts with the V. This one here. Starts with the V. This is a... Carmella. No. This is a milk chocolate wafer with Rice Krispies and caramel. Yeah. Oh. The packaging on this stuff is really cute. It really is. If you take the time to like look at it, it's pretty I nice. I don't know how you say that, but man. We're not going to attempt it. <laughs> uh, I don't want anyone mad at us. We're not going to butcher the language. Um, so yeah, it says, uh, if you're a cat person, you're going to love this because the package is supposed to look like cat fur, which the name on the, on there, the V name means wildcat in Icelandic. All right, let's get you back to wild this. Wildcat, you. <laughs> you okay? Let's get back to the savory. Oh, waffle cut. Look at that. Yeah, and these are tomato, <sighs> paprika, potato chips. You know these got the crunch. Yeah, they're pretty red in color, huh? Yeah. And it says crunch cut, so, you know, they cut the crunch. Oh, yeah. I think I... I did. I skipped a page. <laughs> Oops. It stuck together. Okay, I was like getting to the end, and I'm like, why haven't we done half of this stuff? Oh, yeah. Look at these. All right. So, these are potato snacks with assorted spices. Now, the assorted spices it contains is um, cayenne peppers, garlic, and paprika. I don't know so, why I try to smell the package, but they look like, it could be almost like cereal, a little bag of cereal. And I guess a lot of pepper. It says a lot of pepper. Super original. <laughs> they tie them up with the cinnamon. If they're single on the 30th, they're doused with pepper. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, so we'll go on to something else I skipped, which was, this is a candy bar that threw me off. I was like, why haven't I seen that yet? That is a milk chocolate with salted caramel crispies. Look at that. Nice. That sounds pretty good too. Icelandic. The word means dream in Icelandic. Icelandic. Dream. Milk chocolate. Alright, right, this one we're gonna get this one over. You know, this is one of those if you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, then you hate it. You hate it or you like it. This is a salty. salty black licorice. Black of that. I know, black. I know. We don't like it either. Don't cry. It's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we are not into like licorice, like black licorice, no. like that. No. Just the thought of it got me sweaty and like, ugh. Oh, the bottom of this says, "Give it a try and decide for yourself. Does it taste like medicine or treasure?" That's a big gamble that I'm not ready to take. Medicine and treasure. Yeah. No Good. thanks. No thanks. We're going to go on to... Ooh, this looks better. We're going to try these for sure. Oh, cookies with cocoa filling. 
Alright. Chocolate filled cookies. Chocolate filled cookies. I like crunch, so hopefully they got crunch. Um, yeah, we already showed that. Alright, so this is next. Now we're back on track. Um, so I just showed you the black licorice. Now I'll show you a step up. This is a strawberry licorice. So I do, like if it's like Twizzlers, then yeah, I wouldn't mind that. But definitely not black licorice. It's from Finland. Finnish. Yeah. Sweet and soft licorice. And it's solid too. Hopefully it's like home of real licorice. Ooh. Oh, and it's fat free. They began making candy from the hardy, weather-resistant licorice root. Licorice. Yes, that is how you say it. I've heard some people say, licorice. It's licorice. Trust me. Let's move on. Let's go on so we can get to the tasting of this stuff. We're almost to the, the bottom of the, well, the end of the list. Okay, so we have our next one. These, and I, I do want to mention the packaging in this box is really good. I mean, the size of these chips and everything, these are in full, like, family size bags like of stuff, samples, you know. Um, and that's a big thing of crackers. I know. It's huge. And would you like a sample of crackers? Here you go. Well, it says traditional biscuits. 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 And a cool thing about these biscuits is that um, another yum that's going to be in our yums bag here coming up in a second. It's going to have something we can um, garnish, I guess. Garnish those crackers or the traditional biscuits with. Oh my gosh. Are those like s'mores? S'mores? Check it out. Ooh. It tells you bust out some s'mores. Nice. Need some s'mores. So you can do a lot of things with those. That would be pretty cool to experiment with. We'll have to use some finished chocolate or some Iceland milk chocolate. All right, are you finished? Yeah. Ah, you see what I, you see what I, you see what I did? All right, so now we're to the end where we have our yums bag. So we're gonna open our yums bag and see what's inside. We're just going, I'm just gonna pull one of every thing out. And you know what? I think there's only one packet of, no it's not, there's two packets. Well that's cool. All right, start first with the packet. This is what I was just speaking about that you could put on those um, biscuits. This is chocolate hazelnut cream packet. So off brand Nutella. <laughs> Is it from Finland? Swedish. The Swedish cream gives gives Italian Nutella its run from its money. A run for its money. Nice. I don't know. Pack of uh -huh. Swedish. Yep. Yeah, okay. Swedes. Well, I see Swede pop up a lot. Coffee. Hold on. Not that one. But yes. Do this toffee first. There's two toffees. This first toffee is a gingerbread toffee. It says cola. Oh, cola? Oh, that's not English though. Do they send us like different? That must be how they say gingerbread. Gingerbread top. Flip it over on the side. Other side. It's gingerbread. It says gingerbread. It says gingerbread. Toffee. So, you see it? Okay. It's scaring me now. It's crazy. It's weird. <laughs> so, a gingerbread toffee. Weird. Gingerbread toffee. Cola connection. <laughs> Stop. We're not supposed to butcher other languages. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, this next one, this next one I'm excited because this was a clue from the last month's, um, 
what is it, the clue to next month's box thing. So that it's was cookie dough, guys. Yes, and I love cookie dough. Okay, cookie love dough. cookie dough. This is cookie dough pralines. Interesting. All right. Well, you know, you can consider these gone. Man, I'm pretty sure those taste good. All right. So our very last thing is here. Not enough room on the table. Sorry, we're out of things anyways. This is, it says fizzy toffee, but it's a bubblegum toffee. Ooh. That's what I was thinking. Look. I mean, it looks the like true a wrapper tree of candy crush or something. Can, um, gum contained the old, oldest DNA ever found in the region, which will, hmm. Okay, see, there's so much interesting stuff in the Universal Yum's um, booklet, so... Before we try these snacks, I'm gonna read next month's clue before I forget. You ready? May will bring flowers. The saying holds true. There'll be jasmine and or orchids, orchids, orchids in every bright hue. But even more stunning are this country's natural flavors. From sweet yam to coconut, there's oodles to savor. Yams and coconuts. Who does yams and coconuts? Sweet yam, sweet yam. I think of like the like the ube or something. Are we going to the Philippines again? Because that would be super cool. What do you think? Go in the comment section. Let me know what your guess is. Jasmine. So, all right. Well, you know what? Let's get to our try it zone. We have four things in the triad zone. Load up the treasure chest real quick. Mm -hmm. All right. Start with the popcorn. The salted caramel popcorn. This is the Danish concept of a profound comfort. Oh, smells so good. The Danish. Smells good. It smells really good. I can smell it from here. Oh, they gave us all that air. How nice. You they guys. Want, you wanted, guys. They wanted to protect our kernels. I sure hope this is better than that popcorn from last month that smelled like heat. Mmm. It's different. So certain ones are caramel and certain ones are not. It just says sweet and salty, it doesn't really. But it's not like the caramel popcorn we're used to. It's not a, like a, a coating. Mm -hmm. It's like a powdered caramel flavor. Yeah. Totally feel like this is something you would eat at the movie theater. I think it's better than the caramel covered popcorn that we're used to eating. I mean, this is really good and it's got a extra sweetness to it. It's not just like the caramel is I sweet, but extra. I caramel. Somebody needs to sell that. <laughs> just powdered caramel. Anyways, yeah, those are super good. I give that a 10. That's what it is, like that coating, that, oh. Alright, let's go on to the next thing. We got one more chip and then we'll try some sweet stuff. So also we're gonna try these sour cream and onion potato sticks. So we're gonna see. Did they do these right? Are these good? Are these? I think the last ones we had were not good. They were okay, but they weren't the best we had. I don't smell anything. I know. It's scary when you don't smell anything. Check those out. They look like the sticks. Yeah. But what do you think? Sour cream and onion. But you can see like the, you can see like the chives or whatnot on there. Lots of flavor. Wow. Wow. And the texture changes. 
It's like they turn into full-fledged chips. These are actually more flavorful than sweet. Mm. Than, than most chips. Sour cream and onion chips. Yeah, they're more enhanced. Sour cream and like Lay sour cream and onion. These are more enhanced flavor. Stronger aroma. Super good. Way improvement from the last ones we got. The texture's amazing. I give that a 10 too. Yeah. I have nothing bad to say about it. You let's totally let's move on. Put in the salad. Nice chef salad. Eat them with the sandwich. With the sandwich, yeah. Alright, which one are we doing next? Alright, those are the Cocoa filling. Wow, this is really super interesting. The story might sound like Hans Christian Andersen tale, oh. who was also born in a tiny village in Denmark. You know, that's who wrote what? Like he wrote um, the Little Mermaid, the Ugly Duckling, the Princess and the Pea. Careful, we might get censored for all that naughtiness. Whoa, look at the layers on that thing. I mean, that. I'm not gonna lie, it's ducked off a little weird. You really got to chew through it. It's just a bunch of pastry at first. That's a weird mm. start. Very crispy. Very crispy. Sweet. I almost like the texture more than the taste, but the chocolate saves it. And it kicks in, you got like a, a nice aroma afterwards. I don't know, it's some kind of shortening or butter. But there's like a oiliness about it. Mm hmm. Probably. Oh. And plus, you gotta remember, we just smashed popcorn, potato chips, and then we just switched it on over. Like, we went first, second, straight to fifth gear. I mean, when we pick, like, what's the. Like, it's weird, but it's a good weird. Like, it tastes amazing, but I can't be like, oh, it tastes like this in America. I feel like if they were smaller. Or, and there's a little more enter, like creaminess in the middle, it'd be better. Texture wise, if they're just smaller, you just. I think it just don't have anything to compare it to. It's not like any snack that I've ever tried before. I can't be like it's a hybrid between a cookie and a wafer. I can't describe it. No. This is really something you have to really try. It's really crunchy though. And this looks like it's from the same company. And this is the one I'm excited to try. The puff pastry with cream filling. Same company. It looks like the same texture. I rate those a nine because I want to give them a ten, but it's Ooh, different mind. at the same time. Never mind. Texture Ooh, there's nice. something in the creams in the middle. So I like little sandwiches. Look at that cinnamon. Oh. I don't know if it's the cream that's weird or if it's the breading. They look. I thought they were like encased in sugar. And it leaves a oily residue in your mouth. It's weird. It's not as sweet as you would think it is. And the cream is not a sweet, a very sweet cream. It's just... I give it like a six. I might give it a five. How, it was kind of disappointing. It's not horrible. Please, it's not horrible. 
it's just not I was expecting like a cream like from the middle of a donut or something like a hostess or something this is very not sweet <laughs> it's a cream and then all the cinnamon you could see on it you did totally no taste it's like a sugar coating but I got that greasy feeling in my mouth from it so well there we have it you guys that is our universal yums from Scandinavia and um check it out I mean so far everything was good hungry for yums but you just have your favorites yeah, go check out the Yum Shop. Buy everything cart, individually. All the cart. So, thanks for watching. I wish we could have enjoyed more snacks with you guys. But, like I said, um, we're just making sure we stay at home. That we're being safe. And um, we hope that you guys are too. Yes. So, thanks you guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, wait, wait. Before you go, click subscribe. What are you doing? There you go. Alright, I saw you do it. Alright, thanks for watching, you guys. Toodles!